Sali in Bangladesh writes to me and he says, why don't manufacturers use solid state amplifiers to power subwoofers and they only use class D amplifiers? Is there a specific reason or benefit despite the compactness of the power amps? Well, sure, yes, of course. Several reasons. Um, let's start with their efficiency. So class D amplifiers are extremely efficient, 98% typically, where an amplifier like this, which is the BHK600, is a class AB amplifier, and this has an efficiency of about 50% on a good day. That means much of what comes out of here is heat, and what comes out of a class D amplifier is audio. Now, this is a 600 watt amplifier, and look at the size of it. Look at the heat sinks on the side. I mean, this thing is a beast. It's, it's a great beast, I love it, but you know, at 100 something pounds, chock full of heavy iron and capacitors and aluminum heat sinks, there's a lot there. And a subwoofer worth its salt probably has at least 600 watts. The one we're gonna be building here is 1200 watts. So just imagine two of these beasts inside of a box with a big woofer. I mean, you wouldn't be able to care. You need a forklift to get it into your house. So from that kind of standpoint, where in a subwoofer, we want unlimited amounts of power without, again, having a forklift, a class D amp is perfect. So high efficiency, high power, low distortion, all the good stuff. Now, class D amplifiers generally are recognized as having a sound to them, and a sound that some people argue isn't very good. Well, it is hard and it is true to take a class D amplifier and make it sound as good as that. We've never been able to do it. We've come pretty close in our M1200 amplifier, but it still doesn't sound as good as a class AB amplifier. End of story. Now that is true because of the higher frequencies. When you are working at 200 hertz, like you are in a subwoofer, or below, all that goes out the window. Now we're not worried about it. Now there is no difference sonically between a class AB amplifier and a class D amplifier from a certain frequency down, let's call it 200 hertz. From there down, they are identical. So what's not to like? That's why we use class D amplifiers, as does everybody else in the industry, for subwoofers. All right? Hope that helps. Thanks.